Ben and Clifford. Salah, first little bit of controlled possession for either side, really. Clifford lets fly. A decent hit, we know he can hit them. Yeah, I think, I think from the shot that Connor's just had, he's seen the whites of the post and thought, well, I might as well have a little go from here. I don't think uh, he actually thought he was going to score, but you just never know. And he's released Mitrovic here as the rain really comes down hard. Clifford's caught up with play, this is Jarlo. That's a decent strike as well, sliced it a little bit, always curling wide. Billy Clifford forward. He just did a bit too much of a hurry there, this is Poiser, shaking off it. We've had a good couple of minutes though, Ben, haven't we, of uh, keeping possession of the ball, and it's, it's uh, nicer after the first, only five minutes. The other guys are now getting in control of the play. And Dean Conte steps over the challenge, this is Gokhan Torre, he'd like it on his left, he's got it on his left, good chance, just wide. First really clear-cut opportunity of the match. And what saved him, because it was a terrific strike, it will be a corner. Real power behind that, has the delivery of the corner, it's excellent, and the header just flashing over by the top of the goal from Marko Mitrovic. In that situation, and let's hope the marking's good here. Walker with the fist and he got good contact on it. He'll come back in from Richard Blythe here. Decent one two in the header, looping over and looping in. Daniel Devine, Villa haven't had a sniff, but they've got the lead. That's so disappointing, isn't it? Coming from the tall back pass by Rowan Inch. And Sam Walker getting caught in no man's land as the ball just loops over his head. You can see the corner come in, he gets decent fists on the first punch. Gets, does get closed down, it's just a lofted flight to fall into the penalty area that we haven't dealt with. Oh, that's so disappointing just to see it loop over Sam's head into the back of the net. He has had nothing to do, but Daniel Devine's head has beaten him. He not even be here, and now he's given his team the lead in this final. Chelsea want to respond instantly. They look to here with Mitrovic on a bustling run. He did really well, almost fell for Clifford. There's the shot, and it's the woodwork again. What a strike. What a strike this is. He's done ever so well to get it anywhere near the goal, but Chelsea coming back straight away. This is Salah, and that's easier for Seagrist. So nearly the instant response from Chelsea, who will feel very hard done by it. Last corner, got a header against the woodwork. This is Salah who goes short this time. Jarlow's ball in, dangerous, Bruma was there, this is McEachern again, this is Torre, he got it where he wanted it, Torre on the chase, cleared by Williams, stayed in play as well and it's almost posed a bit of a problem for Billy Clifford here, and further and further back, and in the end, Forced into the error. This is Blyde. Pops it on one more to Nelson Addy, who fancies his chances from a long, long way out. He might not fancy them next time. Time to look up and just bash it across. That is a real waste of an opportunity for others again. Opened up for him. It's a chance, isn't it? Have to look at this and say, where's the, where's the challenge coming in? Carruthers, time to bring the ball down. A little back heel, reverse pass, and still no one close to him. Too sure what he's actually going for. We're just trying to clip it over the top. Never looked under control of that ball, did he? he just hurried it a little bit, didn't he? And gave the possession away. More defending for Chelsea to do here, which Connor Clifford has got back and done, but it falls into the path of Poiser here. And Ince is now back doing defending, and Poiser somehow came out with a ball at his feet. Saved by the feet, though, of Sam Walker. The times he's probably thinking to himself, how can I make a challenge and the referee's going to be happy with it? And at the moment, the referee seems to have something against him. Well played, Sala there, that's allowed McEachern to go with the ball now. And now, Gokhan Torre, three blue shirts up with him. Still Torre, resisted the temptation to let fly. Billy Clifford, how's the cross? Deflection on it, that was Mitrovic. They won a penalty. Screaming for handball, there's a little back heel reverse pass by Mitrovic at the near post. Torre does well. Good overlapping play by Billy Clifford. Super little ball into that near post. And there we see the arm comes up. Mistake there. Sala 
for Connor Clifford, who lets fly from distance. Well, disappointing in the end, I think this is always drifting wide. Slight mistake there in the Villa midfield, allows him that space to pick the loose ball up from Jacobo Sala. Sees the wide to the post, but just well, panics a little bit. It's a strike on too quickly. It's across the ball, always going wide. He knows it's a good chance to get a strike. Torre again, good skills. Gary Jarlo, lovely ball. Found Mitrovic, found the end of his toes anyway, but that's more like it. It's better by Chelsea, isn't it? Started to work the ball. Debatable. It uh, does give the advantage to Chelsea with the ball. Flip it again. He shoots again. That one's a bit closer, but Seagrass still. Scorer and McEachran's in here, bar of the slip, pulls it back, Mitrovic, what a block, unbelievable stuff, not over yet, Kabi Jarlo and Mitrovic and away to safety with Carruthers and for all the world that had to be 1-1, any but there, anywhere but there it would have been, it still might be, Gokan Torre, Storz defending from Villa and Billy Clifford and a deflection in the corner and everyone can get the breath back. Well, just for one moment there, Aston Villa's back for all at sixes and sevens. In all. This is the time to do it on the big stage, Ben. A chance for him. Bruma, and it's in! Fantastic stuff! Right on cue! And Chelsea centre-back has scored his third goal in this Youth Cup campaign. None more important than that one. Well, normally when you pick someone up, they let you down. Not Jeffrey Bruma. Well, I must say that I thought when I initially saw this, I thought the goalkeeper was a little bit slack in getting across. But I don't want to take anything away from Jeffrey Bruma. He put the ball down, he settled it nicely, and he thought to himself, just hit the target. He's done that. I don't think it's right in the corner, and I think, you know, he'd be great. But if it delays what you're trying to achieve, and allows other players to get in to help to defend. And it's not going to Ambitious. Bit from the, uh, it's best to start something off. Here comes Darkin. Oh. It was looking good for a moment for Villa. Some clumsy defending by so isn't it? And Bruma goes forward as expected. Torres free kick. Kekwin lays it off to Sala, really good hit! Sensational strike, cutting across the ball with the outside of the boot there. And it's the upright again, a third woodwork of the night for Chelsea. Off a strike, this is, doesn't he hit this well? Good timing. It's about the layoff as well from Josh, it's a great little layoff, the pace on the ball was perfect. He struck across the ball so, so well, Jacopo Sala. Need to work it a little bit if they want to get it. Chelsea's penalty area. They to get themselves a throw in. Winding on. And time is up. And the question I have to ask you, Clive, after Daniel Devine made it 1 0 to Villa and Jeffrey Brewer equalised in the second half with a free kick, is who's happier with the scoreline? Well, I think the fact that we were 1 0 down, the fact that we've come back to get the equaliser, Ben, I think we'd be happy with that. Having said that, I thought we were the better side for 